Cookies make me excited. You know what makes me excited? Let's do the reveal. Whoo! Okay, here we go. This is probably the most exciting part of the show. Let's look at some cookies, baby! Oh! <laughs> One's got a cherry on top. Holy shit. We'll start with the easy one, the Reese chip. Nice and easy weight. We got a two... 0.4 ounces. Okay, then we'll go with number two, which is the salted caramel. Oh, baby, that comes in at a 3.2 ounces. Look at that. That's a hefty boy. Then we have our chilled one. Uh, I'm going to weigh it without the stem. I don't think it's fair to weigh it with a uh, non edible part. Oh, shit. This is going to be hard to pull off. Okay, we're going to weigh it with the stem <laughs> because that's a lot easier. 3.1. Okay, we got some hefty boys this week. We got two over three ounces. We'll see how good I am at. at transporting so far so good 2.8 okay all right we're gonna work our way up this week this is an easy one because number one and number two are repeats and number three and number four are new so we're gonna start with cookie number one which is right meow so we know this is a Reese chip cookie Reese chip here we go baby it's thick you know what you need with this one he needs some milk. You need the milk. If you don't got the milk with this cookie, you're in trouble because, ooh, it's shaped like a cookie, but this thing is a brownie. It's super dense texture in the middle. I love it. Like the flavor of that. Oh, this is definitely a, a, a basic cookie, but for what it is, dude, I love that brownie texture. Uh, we're going to give it a 6.1 out of 10. So um, above a 6. I was going to give it a six, but I said, no, nah, man, that deserves more than a six because of the, the texture. Had the peanut butter flavor with the chocolate. Those are two really good flavors together. I'll show you a picture of it uh, before I pick this bad boy up. All right. There's cookie number two, salted caramel cheesecake. Look at this thing. That is a hefty boy. Night, look at it. It's like kind of concave with the weight because it's such a heavy cookie underneath it there. Oh. Oh my god, I got way more salt this time than last time. Wow! The cheesecake came through and kind of cut through that saltiness with like the sweet cheese cakiness. <laughs> and then the cookie came through and provided like that base cookie layer that's super chewy, super gooey, super delicious. Like this thing got above a nine for a reason. And I'll tell you what, it's going to get above a nine again. Oh man, that one was really good. It's even getting bumped. It's even getting bumped. Oh, no. I didn't show it to you. There it is. <laughs> 9.2. 9.2 out of 10. Let me show you this one. I, I, so I don't know what cookie number three is. It's got a cherry on top. It's got a white frosting. Okay. We're going to take a bite with the cherry. So we've got a standard dense chilled sugar cookie. with a. It looks like a sugar, like the, their standard sugar cookie with just a frosting on top. So we'll see what it is. But here you go. Here's a nice cross section of that bad boy. Wow, that is a way crazier. That's a way crazier flavor than I expected. Holy shit! This wasn't too over the top. I thought it was really good, and watch it not be something tropical. I don't know. It's definitely got coconut in it. I, I can almost 100% say it's got coconut in it. It wasn't too tropical, but it still had those flavors. We got a guess of pina colada, and we got a guess of uh, Bahama Mama. I don't know what either one of those are other than tropical drinks. I do like the guess of pina colada, though, because I think that has coconut in it. 7.3 out of 10. I mean, like, that's better than I thought. I thought this thing was going to get like a 5 or a 6 based off of looks. That's a really smooth cookie to eat. Now, that sounds stupid, but, like, it it leaves you wanting more. Like, you want to take another bite. Um, so let's guess. Let's go with pina colada. I like the pina colada. Bahama Mama would be cool because of the name. But I say we guess pina colada, see what Jeff throws our way. Cookie number three, chilled pina colada. Okay, I mean, you got it. Okay, while there's no more questions, let's take a look at cookie number four. Um, oh, oh, surprise, surprise, surprise. It's stuffed with something. Look, you can see it. It's a roller coaster. What is that? It's not super sweet. The smell is so familiar, but it's not it's not a coffee smell. It's good. Like 
I didn't really taste the filling. Um, R. Kelly's doo doo butter? No, I don't think it's R. Kelly's doo doo butter. Kelly, I don't think it is. So this is such a familiar taste. Like the mousse on top of it, super airy, super light. So that's that's a mousse, I would say for sure. Hmm. Does it taste like a coffee cake? <laughs> oh, we got to follow. So I'm going to give this one a nice seven and a half out of ten. Just slightly better than the last one. I thought the flavors were really interesting. Let's see. We'll see what we got here. Cookie number four. Reveal time. Maple. Cin it was maple. That was the flavor that I could not pinpoint. It was friggin' maple. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, it had the cinnamon stuffed inside. The maple on top. You can smell it. That's what it freaking is. It's freaking maple. Now, let's do some threatening stuff. Because it is time for the creme de la fan. <laughs> it's the creme de la fan. And cheese to you, leaning tower piece of motherfuckers. What is that? Oh, baby. Oh, man. Okay. It's thick. You get the salt. You get the chocolate. I'm getting the Reese's coming through. I'm getting peanut butter. I'm getting peanut butter, Rick. Peanut butter! <laughs> Holy shit moly. All right, let's give this a rating, dude. Let's, okay. Okay, dude. I, this is, this has been a good week. I'm really, I'm really excited. Um, no, more. We're giving the creme de la Sven an 8.2 out of 10. We got more cookies. Oh, I'll show you what it is right now. There it is. Look at that thing. Cottontail. It's called the Cottontail from My Cookie Dealer. So we have the Cottontail. A Samoa Snowball Pink Coconut Rolled Fully. Yes, that is what it says. Samoa Snowball Pink Coconut Rolled Fully. Um, let's see what we get. I think this side's a little bigger. Oh, 3.6. Wow, that's lighter. Okay, let's see this. Did they hose us? I'm getting some crumbs. Oh, we gotta leave the crumbs. We got hose, dude. Oh, here's cookie number five. Um, yeah, it looks like chocolate and coconut and coconut and denseness. And I'm gonna need some milk. And good thing I got some milk. God, there's a lot of cookies. A little bit of coconut. Very soft. But the outside has a nice crunch to it. It's like you get a little bit of chocolate. You get a little bit of the coconut. You're kind of like chewing through sugary, buttery goodness. I'll give this a rating. It's a, it's a little above average. But it didn't blow me away. So we're going to give this one a 5.5. We got some turkeys over here. Oh, we got the turkeys. We got the turkeys roaming wild. We got wild turkeys up here. Wild turkeys. Wild turkeys. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, boy? And then don't forget to eat some cookies, drink some milk, and slam some ass. I will see you next Monday, 8 p.m. <coughs> Eastern Time. Rio, shut the hell up.